As the September 20th federal election draws near, Castanet Vernon is talking to all the North Okanagan Shoe Shop candidates. And today, we're speaking with Kyle Delfing of the People's Party of Canada. Hi, my name is Kyle Delfing. I'm running for Member of Parliament in the North Okanagan Shoe Shop with the People's Party of Canada. This is my third election in two years. I've been traveling around our riding, learning about all the issues, and Castanet's asked me to come here and speak about a few of them today. So I got a little list with me here. We're going to start talking about First Nations mediation, reconciliation. We have four parties in Ottawa who have a 94 point plan, but the People's Party of Canada has a 95th point. And that point is to abolish the Indian Act, to get rid of it. The Indian Act is essentially segregation by legislation. Depending on where our Aboriginal brothers and sisters stand in this country, they have different rights and opportunities. We believe that we should bring them up to the level of all Canadians so that they can be equal with us. And that's what the Truth and Reconciliation Commission fell short when we believe the People's Party of Canada puts that one extra step in there for Canadians to bring Canada together as a whole. Government transparency and uh, honesty. <laughs> Try not to laugh these days. Um, you know, on a provincial level, let's look at our Premier Horgan sitting with eight people at a table, having dinner at Sir Winston's, using the excuse, Ms. Harwinder said, we had a rapid test at a firefighter camp where we have 400 firefighters staffed who are vulnerable because they are at maximum capacity, that's it. Well, we have politicians taking rapid tests not knowing if they're infected with COVID-19 so they could go out for dinner. But then when confronted by the public, they tell the public, what are you trying to do, ruin my good time? And the public says, well, you've been ruining my good time for the last 18 months. And the only thing that our winter student can say is okay because we had a rapid test. So what the government is telling us is that we can go dine in our restaurants with a rapid test as long as we're free of COVID-19. We shouldn't have to have a vaccine passport. It was good enough for them on that night. It should be good enough for us. And that's where we go into this pandemic response. They asked us to sit down for 14 days and flatten the curve. It's been 20 months now almost. People are tired of it. I'm tired of it. You're tired of it. I'll be honest, I haven't lost a day of work, but I've lost a lot of business. I only have one truck instead of three running. And I know there's a lot of restaurateurs out there who have lost almost everything, and I've seen a few that lost everything, like the one across the street right here. It's closed for good. That, that is making this country unaffordable. We've been borrowing money at $400 million a day for no good reason anymore. We've been told the hospitals are at capacity, which they're not. I can walk through the Vernon Jubilee Hospital and you can get service faster than I've gotten it in the last eight years. I'm getting a CAT scan in less than a week, sometimes less than a day. I can get treatments that were used to taking six weeks or more to wait for. I don't think they're being accountable or honest anymore about the, the pandemic. I think, I think it's time for a change. Um, there's a few more things they want to talk about on here, which is climate change. Climate change is real. We've been around for a long time, but it's not a crisis. It's not an emergency, and the tax isn't going to make it stop. We need to take it serious as a party. We need to mitigate for its effects. Floods in Lumbee. I said it before, I'll say it again. If you think it's going to flood, one more time, raise the dikes, raise the bridges, put in better flood mitigation efforts. We already know climate change exists. Stop fooling Canadians and taking money out of their pockets to stop climate change. Housing affordability, when well, the last year we've seen it skyrocket, it comes down to the pandemic response and debt and finances. If we want to make Canada sustainable again, we need to get out of our debt. We need to get our deficit down to zero. We need to make sure that we govern this country the same way we run our household, fiscally responsible. We don't take out credit cards to help our neighbors out with their mortgages indefinitely because they haven't got a good job. So why are we sending so much money in foreign aid to countries who have the ability to create their own GDP? Canada has to take care of itself and that's what the People's Party of Canada is proposing to do again. Govern on behalf of Canadians. Do politics differently. Govern, not rule. We don't want to be elitists and politicians, we want to be your leaders. I'm a voice for this community. One of the things I can say is I'll tell you that the passport system is something that the federal government can't stop from coming in. Well, we can. It's the federal government that's implementing it at $1.8 billion. The province is using the passport system as an interim measure. 
if you vote for the People's Party of Canada, we will protect your rights, we will stand up in the House of Commons and we will fight for you. That's why I'm doing this one more time in three years. I want to fight for you in Ottawa. I want to make sure that we get our small business community back up and running and healthy again. Thank you. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hatchew in Vernon.